Hello and welcome back. Two explorers tease that Ben will get a head start on Sierra's whereabouts from a surprising source, Clyde in the upcoming episode of Days of Our Lives. Days of Our Lives viewers and Ben will be wondering where Clyde could have had a head start on Sierra's whereabouts. Clyde is still a guest at Statesville Jail, although there's a fairly large network of associates that he works with. Viewers will recall that earlier in the week, Sierra was able to message Ben, but she was unable to tell him her location, as she doesn't know where she is. She can describe the inside of the building and the glass she's trapped behind and say it's a beautiful room, but otherwise she's got nothing. However, it appears that it was Milo Harp, aka Orpheus, who might be giving orders to his captor, Alan, rather than Vincent, which one might assume, given that Rhodes was Vincent's pilot. On the other hand, Orpheus may know Rhodes, and that he was Bellman's pilot. Viewers will recall that Clyde and Orpheus have long been partners in crime, and Orpheus manipulated Rhodes. It's very likely that Orpheus, who apparently is out of jail now, is the one who gets the information about Sierra's whereabouts in Clyde, and Clyde passes it on to Ben. Clyde may have something on Orpheus that he threatens to make him manipulate Rhodes for the location where he is holding Sierra. They had some sort of business relationship after all. And Ben is hopeful of the le lead Clyde gives him, having obtained psychic readings from Susan as his main source of information on Sierra. However, his ramblings gave him hope. Little does Ben know that Clyde is providing the information he needs. And Rhodes tells Sierra as her situation is about to change. This seems to indicate that Orpheus is calling for the shot over Rhodes. Or's manipulation of Rhodes has turned into very real threats or some sort of agreement with him to disclose his whereabouts to her. It's also possible that Rhodes is preparing to move Sierra to another location, and Orpheus will have to work quickly to prevent this from happening or else intercept him. Ben will take the lead his father has given him and contact his brother-in-law, Sean, with the information. Sean gave up and accepted that his sister was dead, but if Clyde dropped the name Alan Rhodes, Orpheus had been giving it to Clyde then Sean will investigate again and find that this may be a viable lead. Since Rhodes is Bellman's pilot's name and the last time she was seen alive was on an airstrip, this will give Ben and Sean something concrete to start a search on. Stay tuned to Days of Our Lives and check out Days of Our Lives spoilers regularly for the latest news, updates, and developments. Thanks for watching, goodbye, and see you again.